this video, I'm going to share with you my essential items for a beach vacation. That's going to be the second half of this video. The first half is going to be also essential items, but they're going to be the ones that you probably didn't know you needed. You may not have even heard of some of them, but if you don't bring them, or if you do bring them, they are going to save you a lot of time and money and frustration. I'm going to start with those and then I will start with the really, really essentials that like if you don't bring, you're going to have to go buy. I'll timestamp where those start as well and I hope you like it. One thing that's been a lifesaver, instead of bringing your wallet to the beach because you don't want to get sand and all that stuff in your wallet, your purse, say hi. <laughs> I usually bring this thing. It's like a little mesh purse, or you could bring something smaller, but I just put all my cards in it and my I bring money. This thing. Mm. And um, so it can get sandy or get dirty or whatever, and you know, it, you know the sand just kind of falls out of it, and then also it just keeps it, I'm sorry, I'm like sweating right now, it's so hot. Um, it just keeps it kind of handy, and then you can just stick it in your beach bag and you're all set. somewhere super sunny which you probably are because you're going to the beach I highly recommend a beach hat it could just be a cap or I mean if that's your style I like this kind of beach hat where it covers my face because even if you have sunglasses on it just gets so sunny and so bright that the Sun is reflecting off the sand it's you just want something else that will shield your face from the Sun especially if you have sensitive skin I tend to get burned on my scalp sometimes so a hat's a good idea if you go somewhere that's like a resort or a condominium or kind of like the place I'm at right now um, there's a huge pool there's a beach and you can go to the restaurant bar area and get drinks if you want to but you're gonna spend a lot of money if you rely solely on that so what I suggest doing is getting a cooler backpack. This has been a lifesaver because A, coolers are not allowed at the pool. They even have a sign that says that, but they didn't really say anything about backpacks, you know? Also, you can put a backpack cooler on and you can carry all of your things you wanna keep cold in your back, on your backpack, and your hands are free to use them for your beach bags or beach chairs or whatever else you're gonna bring to the beach. I can't even tell you how many times we've gone to the beach and it's been such a lifesaver and in the long run you end up saving so much money because you bring all of your snacks, your drinks and everything down in your cooler instead of buying the $13 pina colada at the bar. The best case scenario is have your husband or your friend or your partner or somebody carry that cooler backpack and then you get one of these nifty little beach bag backpacks which I will post one up here and then you can both have your hands free to carry all of your other stuff like maybe your kids. <laughs> so today's actually here. my birthday. I'm good, 25 good. years old. Plus hey. five. <laughs> Plus nine. So I'm, you, you can do some math there. Okay. Another really great, great must have for the beach is a battery. Because you're going to get to the beach and you're not going to want to go sit up in your hotel room. My mustache. Most likely you're going to run out of battery because A, you're going to be using your phone and your video. And also sometimes you're just not good to sell receptions. So it just eats up your battery life. So you definitely want to get a battery that you can charge up your phone with when you're at the beach. Don't call the cops on you, buddy. Yep. Another thing I've definitely noticed that you must bring on your trip is some sunburn recovery potion, whether it be aloe or I'll even link my absolute favorite one. It's all natural and it literally just takes your sunburn away if you just spray it on right after you get out of the sun. I don't care where you're from. If you're going to come to like say Florida where I am right now in July or August or even September, the sun is so hot. We were just out there for maybe an hour and a half, I think, at the pool. I put on 30 SPF on my shoulders. Um, I have 50 on my face and I already have red shoulders. I'm like, how'd that happen? But I'm in the pool, I'm getting in and out. You know, I kept spraying on myself, but just you're gonna get a little bit sunburned. So you really definitely need to bring something to make that not hurt the next day. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm even qualified to give this advice, I grew up near the beach. I lived by the beach for three years and I vacation to the beach all the time. So maybe you go skiing, that's great, but I go to the beach. I go maybe to another country, maybe another part of the world, but I promise you, it's gonna be a beach. The one thing that I highly recommend that you're probably not really gonna think of is to bring some kind of corksicle or a cooler for your beverages. This is actually just ice and water right now, but I plan to get a rosé in a little bit, and then if I put it in here, I don't have to worry about it, you know, just getting warm in five minutes. Plus, if you wanna bring like a bottle of wine or something to the beach, um, you can put it in here, and then that way it's kind of kept fresh and kept cool and, you know, doesn't get gross. I realize this is kind of late in the summer for me to be doing this kind of video, but 
I have realized, and I'm at the beach right now, <laughs> that there are still lots of people going to the beach. And I'm assuming you are too if you're watching this video. I'm actually in Panama City Beach, Florida right now where my family and I come quite often. It's like basically my happy place. It's only a couple hours away from my home and it's just so convenient and it's not super crowded or anything. It's just so relaxing. One of the essentials you'll need and that you may not think is really necessary, or maybe you've already thought about this, is definitely a beach bag. I know that seems super simple, but a lot of people tend to forget those and they end up bringing their purses down and things and you don't wanna bring your purse to the beach. Personally, I like to bring the ones that are soft that I can just throw into the laundry after I get done with them. A mesh bag also works really well in this case too. I'm going to meet my husband and daughter. They could not wait on me to just simply get my sunglasses and my hat and my little, you know, Another little piece of advice I have is whenever it gets that really hot part of the day or the really sunny part like noon and one, that, kind of around that time, I mean that's a good time to just kind of come chill in the shade for a little bit like I am now. <laughs> I am getting out of the sun for a minute. I know we're going to go back down there later. We have sun until like 8 p.m. not missing out on too much and then hopefully you won't leave your beach vacation looking like a lobster. Hey, by the way, if you are liking this video, guys, will you do me a big favor and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't? And uh, please leave a comment of which item that I've mentioned, if there is one that you haven't thought of. And if you like this type of video, please hit the subscribe button. It's right below. And now let's move on. This next part, I want to just talk a little bit about some basic essential clothing that you're going to need when you go to the beach. So the first article of clothing I think of when I think of a beach vacation is a cover-up. Well, first is a swimsuit, but as far as clothing goes, is a cover-up because you are going to spend, be spending a lot more time probably on the beach than you are anywhere else. So you definitely want to get a good cover-up, maybe one or two. I strongly suggest one like this, which is what I have on, which I love because it's, you know, it covers me up but it also um, is very, very breathable. And so you, if you get one, get one that's like long sleeve or something that's too much coverage, you're gonna feel icky. I'm in Florida right now and it is super humid, super humid. You can just see the sweat dripping off my face. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just really, you don't wanna really, really want a lot of things touching your body. I really like cover-ups obviously for going to the beach in the summertime and everything, but if they get kind of hot, if you get a cover-up that really like covers you up, it can get a little bit hot on your arms and everything. And I find myself gravitating towards just like a very simple tank top and I'm wearing like these linen shorts right here. They're just super breathable. It's just less stuff that's on my body. So I can um, not feel so sticky. So again, cover-ups are great. I love them by the pool and all that kind of stuff. But if you're just lounging around, I've got my swimsuit on still, um, I just, Bring a cute tank top and some linen shorts. So you're probably gonna be your best bet. Denim is gonna be pretty hot, so I would stick with like linen or cotton or something kind of breathable. The one article of clothing besides shorts, besides a tank top, and besides a cover up that I, you know, you could consider bringing, I'm gonna I just include it in my essentials list because maybe you do end up doing something where you wanna to go to dinner or maybe, you know, um, beach to bar kind of thing. And that would be a maxi dress because that is easily able to be thrown over over your swimsuit, but also wear to, to a restaurant and look pretty good. And this will easily go with some flip flops. You will look just fine to go to a restaurant on the beach. Another thing you might want to consider bringing, um, this is not something that I really care about, but if you are going to be in the water and the, if you go to maybe the Bahamas or places like that where there's a lot of rocks and coral, um, I know like off of Italy, there's, you know, a lot of rocky area beaches, you might want to buy some water shoes to bring with you. Because again, if you're going to buy them while you're there, they're probably going to be a lot more expensive. And water shoes are just super lightweight and easy to throw in your bag. Um, so I would suggest maybe buying those beforehand if you feel like you're going to be walking around a lot in the water. Seems like the uh, pool is the coolest place to be because then I'm not so hot. <laughs> So far as those essential essentials go, let's just get started. Compare this list to your own and make sure that you do not forget any one of these items. First one would be sunscreen. You're gonna want to definitely bring some high SPF sunscreen. You can bring some 15, I like to bring both. The higher SPF for my face and my shoulders and my chest and maybe the 15 for like my legs and places that are not gonna get as much sun. Sunglasses, obviously another thing you're gonna wanna uh, bring to your beach vacation. Don't forget these, that is something people often forget. I really like these. I just got them. They're by this brand called Smith. I will try to find them and link them below, but they're amazing and I just, I freaking love them. Another thing people often, and this, it's really true, people often forget their swimsuit when they come to the beach. I know this because I sell swimsuits at a store by the beach and people forget them all the time. You're going to need flip-flops. Honestly, I feel like that's really the only kind of shoes you're going to need. I mean, honestly, flip-flops will go with your maxi dresses, with your shorts, with your 
go into the beach it will go with everything and it's just super convenient easy way to bring just one pair of shoes um, you will know if you're gonna go anywhere fancy on your beach vacation of course that's a whole nother thing but as far as essentials go you essentially only need flip-flops at the beach Whatever you do, do not forget your water bottle when you go to the beach because you're not gonna wanna buy bottled water the entire time you're there. Now, of course, another thing that is essential and it's super boring, but you need to add it to your list is a toothbrush and toothpaste because, I mean, if you forget that, you're you're gonna have to buy one at the gift shop. And then the last article of clothing I'm gonna recommend that you bring is a set of PJs. So I know that seems really silly, like why would you forget that? But that's another thing people forget all the time when they go to the beach. They think of maybe their swimsuit and what if they go to this kind of location and outfits for all kinds of weather, but they forget something to sleep in. And you know, I don't sleep in pajamas either, but I do wear them before I go to bed and when I get up in the morning. So make sure you bring some of those. Now our beach time is over, we must go back home, but we've had a lovely trip, although, albeit sweaty. <laughs> we basically sweated from morning till, till night, but that's okay, it was fun, it was a lot of fun.